previously on the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Oh my God. The competition fired up. This is way too dangerous for a spelling bee. But the carnival was over. S Y Odyssey. Incorrect. For Grace, Amanda, Carl, and Harpeth. Even though I'm not spelling anymore, I was like feeling so proud of myself. Let's hear it for Harpeth. Tonight. This is their last chance. I'm going to make it into that grand final. Finals week is here. One of you will be the Great Australian Spelling Bee champion for 2015. <laughs> and there's a buzz in the air. What's that noise? Baby! The pinatas. Oh. I hit the pinata. I just went swing, swing. I had to hit it a couple of times. Who will fall short? Necessities. Pronouncer. Incorrect. <laughs> And who will make tomorrow night's grand final? Fortuitous. Correct. Spell this correctly. You will be through to the grand final. walking in when it's finals week. It's so tense, there's so much pressure, everyone's worried about how they're going to do. Welcome to the Great Australian Spelling Bee! Yeah. You've made it to finals week. All my hard work, everything, all the games I played in the past, they were just for fun, but now it matters for real. You are the top eight young spellers in Australia, and one of you will be the Great Australian Spelling Bee champion for 2015. Just be a dream come true to be the Great Australian Spelling Bee champion of 2015. I love spelling so much. It's always been my passion. That's correct. Bridesmaid. I believe in myself and I believe I can make it to the grand final. It's fantastic to see such a great range of ages still in the competition. Now, which one of you is the youngest here? She is. I am. You are Peter. Yes. Yeah, but different They're both one. eight, but different ones. You're both eight. But, but she's turning months. nine. And who's the oldest? Harrison. Oldest and tallest. Yeah. How old are you again? Twelve, turning thirteen. Twelve. I think a couple of weeks ago I would have said I had an advantage, but I really think at this stage age doesn't matter. These are the best of the best spellers in Australia. So I'm really nervous about coming up against people like this. P-H-I-C-S. Correct. I'm a real sort of academic based person, but I love my footy as well. I think there are a few skills that I need for the Great Australian Spelling Bee from footy. Determination, hard work, they're definitely important for success. Mika, have you been furiously preparing? Um, yeah, and I think mainly I just need to really focus and make sure I do my best. If I got into the top six, it'd be an absolute dream come true. I'll be so happy. Morning, Mika. Good morning. My teachers help me learn spelling and my vocabulary. Fantastic. All of those words are great words. So I think teachers are kind of, you know, the heroes of education. Annie Red, pumped to be here? Yeah, definitely. I'm ready to win that trophy. Now I know the actual level of all the spellers here, and it's really high. And now I'm into the finals. I'm feeling good. Dad is always uh, very proud about his smartness, but I always pride myself as a mum about his character. We love you so much. We are very, very proud parents. Yay! From now on, it's every speller for themselves. You'll all be spelling as individuals today. Six of you will be in tomorrow's grand final. But unfortunately, two of you will be leaving the competition today. Well, well, well. I might just have just that little bit more of determinedness. Are you ready for it? Yeah. 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 Starting from now. The first challenge is show and spell. You know how this works. You have to guess and spell a word using a series of clues given to you by the pronouncer. First challenge, show and spell. I'm over the moon. 
I don't mean to brag or anything, but I reckon this is the one where I'm, if anything, that I'm going to make it through to the grand final. It's my strong suit. In show and spell, the first clue is always a letter. Where do you think the letters might be right now? What's that noise? Anybody know what that is? Where's it coming from? Everyone was looking around, but for some reason, nobody looked up. Any idea how you're going to get the letters Ooh. out? Ooh. Harrison. We whacked them. You whacked them. Spot on. You hit them with a piñata stick. Yes. This sounds like a lot of fun. Yes, it does. <laughs> Who's going first? Me. Me. Ha, Peter, let's start with you. You're first. <laughs> That's my lady. Who's yours? Pick a B, any B. Is she going to go for a low one? I hope so. No way, yeah. <laughs> Give it some. Kill it. <laughs> Smash it. I can't let me. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Yeah. Deep inside the bee is... An N. An N. Hi, oh, Peter. <laughs> wow. It's so hard to vandalise a bee. She's out of breath. Are we ready to play? It's the finals, and the words are tougher than they've ever been. And this time, there isn't a category. So there's no theme. Yeah. If you think you know the word, buzz in. Guess the word and spell it correctly, you get one point. First, two spellers to spell two words correctly go straight to the grand final. Are you ready for your first clue? Yep. The word has 11 letters and is of Latin origin. <laughs> Pronounce it, another clue. It is a verb. N E. N E. I have no idea what it is. Harrison's counting out. Waiting, 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 waiting. Harrison! Yeah. You're taking a shot at this right now. Too early, maybe, but is the word necessity? S necessities, necessities. Pronouncer. That is. incorrect. Oh, no. Harrison, you're locked out for the moment. Annie Rudd. I don't know if it's a word or not. So this might be a long shot? Yep. Let me have it. Is the word necessarize? I was going to do that. Pronouncer. That is... Incorrect. Oh, well, now I don't know it. Another clue, please, pronouncer. My hands are on my buzzer and I'm waiting. Waiting for my opportunity. To bring about as a requirement. Mika. Is the word necessitate? Oh. Let's find out. Pronounce it. That is correct. <laughs> Mika, lovely work. <laughs> now, all you have to do is spell it and you have the first point of the challenge. Necessitate. N-E-C... E-S... S-I-T-A-T-E. Necessitate. Pronouncer, is she right? That is... Correct. Very well done, Mika. First point of the challenge goes to you. You get another point and you are straight through to the grand final. I just need to get one more word. One more word. And win myself one of those spots. Amelia. 
Would you please come forward and find a B? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! She means business. <laughs> The letter is F. F. Got the letter F, and I'm sort of going through my mind thinking, what could it be? F, F, F. Pronouncer. The word has ten letters and is of Latin origin. Ten letters. They're long words today. It is an adjective. F O. Happening by chance or by good luck. Annie Rood is in. Annie Rood, identify the word for me, please. Oh, no. OK, it's, I was going to do fortunate, but it had nine letters. Let's find out. Pronouncer? That is incorrect. Yeah. You're locked out for the remainder of this word. Pronouncer, another clue. It describes something that turns up out of the blue, just as you need it. Yes, Mika. Fortuitous. Fortuitous. Pronouncer. That is... Correct. I've never even heard of that word before. I didn't even know there was a word. If you can spell this correctly, you will be the first speller through to the Great Australian Spelling Bee Grand Final. Let's do it. Fortuitous. F-O-R-T... Mika, if you can spell this correctly, you will be the first speller through to the Great Australian Spelling Bee Grand Final. Let's do it. Fortuitous. F O R T U I T O U S. Fortuitous. Pronouncer. That is. Correct. You've done it! from New South Wales. Mika, you are our first grand finalist. I never thought that I could do this. I never dreamed I could do this. It's one of the best days of my life, probably. Please head over to our winner's hexagon over here. Hi! Well done, brilliant. Oh, my goodness. How do you feel right now? It's absolutely awesome. It's it's like a dream come true, and I, I'm, I'm so shocked. I'm just amazed. <laughs> Meek is definitely to the grand final. It's just up to the seven of us to fight it out for the next spot. You're not going to make it through Charlotte's spell and battery, Charlotte's spell. I don't know either of Meek's words. Who wants that other spot? Me! 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 me. Definitely me! Hey. The word has 11 letters and is a compound of two Greek words. It is an adjective. Marco is in. Aerodynamic. Correct. That's your first point for this challenge. Oh. Yeah! The word starts with P. Nine letters, a collection of someone's creative work, which they can show to prospective employers. Amelia. Portfolio. Correct. It's a T. The word has 11 letters and is Latin from Greek origin. Therapeutic. That is correct. Let's take a look at the leaderboard right now. Three spellers on one point. Amelia, Anirud, Marco. So very close to securing that second berth in the grand final. 
So Marco, Annie, Rune and I all have one point each. Only one of us can get through to that grand final in this round. I think we were just all feeling the same thing. Nervousness. Grace, it's your turn to pick a letter. Please come forward. Oh, go, Grace. I'll probably not go see it. How do you think she's going to go with the pinata? Has she got a, has she got a no, tough side? No, I don't think that she has enough no. stress, probably. Ready, go. I hit the pinata with the pinata stick and it just went swing, swing. I, I had to hit it a couple of times. Yay! What letter do you have? S. The letter is S. Right now, I really need one point in the leaderboard. I was worried that I was buzzing too early, so I really was focused on stepping back a little bit. The word has nine letters and is of German origin. Ooh, Peyton. Very quick to jump in on this word. What word do you think it is? I think the word is schnitzel. Oh, I do. Schnitzel. It sounded kind of German. I think it's got to be schnitzel. It's got to be. Pronouncer? That is... Incorrect. Ah, oh, she was so short. Oh. Okay, Peyton, you're locked out for the remainder of this word. Let's have another clue. It is a noun. The pressure is on. There is a place in the grand final up for grabs. takers another clue pronouncer one of a german breed of terriers oh, amelia's in oh. i believe the word is schnauzer schnauzer pronouncer that is correct I still have to spell it right, and I didn't really know the exact spelling. Amelia. Now, all you have to do is spell it, and you join Mika in the grand final. Let's go. Schnauzer. S C H N O. W-S-E-R, schnauzer. Pronouncer. That is incorrect. After I knew that I got it wrong, I'm thinking, oh, wait, it's German. You know, it's just sort of a uh-oh sort of feeling. That means the other spellers get a chance to spell it and can buzz in. Now, Annie Rudd. Annie Rudd buzzes in straight away. I'm like, oh, he's got this one. Annie Rudd, if you can spell this correctly, you're in the grand final. Schnauzer. S C H N A U S E R Schnauzer. That is incorrect. I'm going to throw it open to the other spellers. Chance was there for the taking. Now. I right, pounce on it. Marco. <gasps> did you hear the collective sigh of the spellers next to you? I did. Do you know why? Because. I reckon if I can spell this right, it's through the grand final. Marco, for a position in the grand final, please spell the word. Schnauzer. S C H N A U S C H N U 
Z E R. Schnauzer. Pronouncer. That is. Correct. Sensational, Marco. Yes. Oh. <laughs> You're 11 years old. From New South Wales, you will be joining Mika in the grand final. Grand final at last. I'm ready for another degree of difficulty, another level, and I know that whatever comes to me, I'll be ready for it. Say goodbye to your buddies. Your family's waiting for you backstage. Good luck, guys. See you later. First two grand finalists. Oh, Thanks. Thanks. You too. Well done, mate. Surprise me. Surprise me. Positive way. Well done. I'm proud of you. I did it, Mama. You said I would, and I did it. If I know the word, then I can spell it easy peasy. But yeah. Like, um, it's just the problem with guessing the word. Well, um, Charlottesville didn't go too well for me, not surprised. <laughs> so now I have to wring my hands and be nervous all over again. I don't really like Sean and Spell. I don't really think I'm that good at it. I'm not too good at it either. Right now, I'm really nervous. I'm just hoping that the next challenge will be a more appropriate challenge for me. What are you guys expecting for the next challenge, though? I think it's, it can't um, be letter I'm, by letter. I know, because you've got more team. I hope it's flashcards. I'm pretty good at that. Me too. Being one of the great Australian spelling bee, I think it's just, oh wow, a really big achievement. I live in the Sunshine Coast. Living at the beach has given me an opportunity to do nippers, which is really fun surf life saving club. You sort of can't be a little coward if you're going out the back on a board. I guess I would consider myself pretty brave. <laughs> Good luck, guys. It's going to take a lot of determination. It'll just be a dream come true to get into the grand final. Coming up. OK, spellers, let's spell. The words are getting harder. Etymology. Resilience. Conundrum. Adjacent. And the pressure is getting more intense. Um. OK, this is scary. <laughs> so who will join Mika and Marco in the grand final of the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Come on over, spellers. It's going to take a lot of determination because it'd just be a dream come true to get into the grand final. The next challenge is letter by letter. It's letter by letter. I know how this goes. Oh, I just take deep breaths, just have fun and try your best. You've all played letter by letter before. Yeah. But never quite like this. We're going to play two rounds. Each of you will take it in turns to say a letter. If you get a letter wrong, you are out of the round. Last speller standing in each round joins Marco and Mika in the grand final. I'm feeling pretty confident this time. Hopefully, I'll be the last one standing. OK, spellers. Let's spell. Pronouncer, first word, please. The word is colossal. Colossal. C. O. L. O. S. S. A. L. Colossal. Good work. Exemplify. Exemplify. E. X. E. M. P. L. I. F. Y. Exemplify. Resilient. Conundrum. Adjacent. Oh my goodness, they're doing so well. Doing so well. Etymology. Etymology. E. T. T. Stop. Oops. The correct spelling is E. T. Y. M O L O G Y. Etymology. Bad luck, Amelia. That's it for round one for you, but you will be able to come back in round two. Yeah. So please come and stand over this hexagon over here. 
I'm sort of upset, but at least there's still another round of Learn My Letter. Anything can happen. Pronounce it. A new word. Prodigious. Prodigious. P R O D I G O. Stop. The correct spelling is P R O D I G I O U S. Prodigious. Really easy mistake to make, Peyton. That means you're out of this first round, so please take a position over here on the hexagon and wait for round two. <laughs> Pronouncer. I was jumping on pretty well and then. Misalign. Misalign. M. I. S. Um, mind blank. E. I have no idea, so I just burst out E. Stop. The correct spelling is M I S A L I G N. Misalign. That's okay. Grace is normally very focused and a really brilliant speller. I really think today, I think the final question is really getting to her. That same thing could happen to me. Three of you left in this round, and one of you will be going through to the grand final. Who will it be? Anirud. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's cool. He's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Cacophony. Cacophony. C. O. Stop. Yeah. Oh, Cacophony. The correct spelling is C A C O P H O N Y. Cacophony. Always oh, next round. Harrison, Harpita, it's the youngest versus the oldest right now in this challenge. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm like, OK, this is scary. But it's pretty actually awesome competing against the oldest. One of you is about to get a place in the grand final. It's down at Harpita and I. We ready? No. I know how great Harpita's been against the oldest spellers, and I'm really scared of her. Oh, <sighs> pressure's on. Mm. Pronouncer. Cryogenics. Cryogenics. C R I Stop. The correct spelling is C R Y O G E N I C S Cryogenics. Harpita, oh, that was quite an amazing performance. Really going right to the very end there with Harrison. Remember, you're still in with a chance. You'll be joining us in our second round of Letter by Letter. Keep the applause going for Harrison who has just secured himself a berth in the grand final. Outstanding. Thank you very much. To get this far has just been so amazing. Like, thousands of people have applied, and I'm in the top six. It's just, it's just such a good feeling. That was a David and Goliath battle. That, that was. She's a fantastic little speller, isn't she, Harpita? I think I was more scared of her than she was of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the youngest, and he's oldest, and he's scared of the youngest. I'm like, you scared of me? And how do you feel about being in the grand final? It's just such a relief. It seriously is one of the best things that ever happened to me. Congratulations. Very well done. Yay! Spellers, please come forward for round two. Well, let's find out who's joining Harrison in the grand final. So round two, I'm back in, and I'm hoping that this time I can step up my game a bit and get through to the grand final. Pronouncer, can we have the first word of round two? Laborious. I'm feeling a bit nervous about the words because they're getting longer and harder. Laborious. L A B O U. Stop. Oh. The correct spelling is L A B O R I O U S. Laborious. OK, Peyton, you're the first speller to drop out of this round, so please take a position over here in the hexagon and we'll see you in the next challenge, OK?
pronounce it? Tenacious. Tenacious. T. Tenacious T. U. T U. Tenacious. Stop. No, no. I She's know. just not used to this. She's yes. used to spelling the whole yes. word herself. Yes. The correct spelling is T E N A C I O U S. Tenacious. You're a good speller. You can do it, okay? Three left in this round right now. One of you will be joining Harrison in the grand final. Let's find out who that's going to be. Pronouncer. Successive. A lot of C's and a lot of S's. Too many. Too many for me to deal with. Successive. S. U. C. C. E. S. S. I. B. E. Successive. <laughs> Admittance. Vivacious. Boisterous. Asthmatic. Five words correct. We've been doing a lot of runs of the word. Antithesis. Quarantine. Camouflage. Eight correct words. It's just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. On and on, and it doesn't e stop. Stressful. Entourage. Curriculum. Ten correct <laughs> words. Chill Blaine. Chill Blaine? I've actually never heard of it before. C H I L. The others are saying the letters. I'm like, come on, get the letter wrong so that it doesn't come back around to me, please. B L. Can you please repeat the word? Chill Blaine. B. Stop. She got lost. She got lost. The correct spelling is C H I L B L A I N. Chill Blaine. Wow, that was an extraordinary marathon run between the three of you. 17 words in a row. Oh my God, that was extraordinary. Unfortunately, Amelia, that's it for you in this round. We're gonna see you in the next challenge of spelling bee, okay? So please take a position over with the other spellers. Uh, Peter, Anirudh, you are now spelling for a place in the grand final. Two spellers, one position left. OK, take a deep breath. It's just so nerve-wracking. Pronouncer. The word is obsequious. Obsequious. O B S E Q U I know that word, but I just had a mental blank. I'm actually really nervous. It's daunting. Obsequious. O B S E Q U these words but they're really hard to actually get hold of. I O U S obsequious. Oh that is so hard. The words are getting harder and longer. I oh, just take deep breaths and let's see how it goes. Exacerbate. Exacerbate. E X A. S. Oh. Stop. So close. The correct spelling is E X A C E R B A T E. Exacerbate. So very close. Hub Peter, please go and join Peyton, Amelia and Grace. We will see you in the spelling bee in the very next challenge. I'm just dying to be in the grand final so much. So I just got to keep my confidence up and try my best.
Annie Rudd. You will be joining Harrison. Come on over, Harrison. Wow. Our fourth member of the grand final at nine years of age is you. I've made it into the grand final. Top six young spellers in Australia. Full stop. Annie Rudd, Harrison, that's it for you right now. We'll be seeing you tomorrow in the grand final. Good job. Gina, thanks. Proud of you, I'm proud of you. Well done, well done. I'm so proud of you. I did it. Yes, you did it. I cannot believe I made it this far. It's just so amazing. Okay, good luck, my baby. Love you. Just do your best, okay? Take your time and think it through. You poor girls are awesome. Right to the end. In the finals, you haven't missed anything. Try your best, that's enough. Don't stress yourself, okay? Just go, relax, think about the word. There's no time limit, okay? okay. You just do your best. Do your best to focus. T U I. Grace has one big spelling bee before. She won the NSW Premium Spelling Bee last year. We are so proud of her. I want to conquer spelling and like, I know, Poseidon, master of the seas, Grace, master of the spelling. <laughs> and I get a medal too. Yeah. I really want a medal. All right, let's go. Bye, let's darling. go. Time to spell. Time to spell, Lapita. Time to spell, gorgeous Good girl. Luck. Go on, Grace. <laughs> spelling. I'm just hoping for the best to happen. I've got to prove to myself, I've got to prove to everybody I'm going to make it into that grand final. Top eight spellers in the country, huh? Hey, we've made it pretty far, girls. I'm so proud for everyone, including myself. Going to be pretty fun. Right, out, guys. You know how this works. Traditional spelling bee rules apply right now. Keep spelling correctly and you will be safe. And in each round, the words are selected randomly and are of equal difficulty. We're playing for the last two spots in the grand final right now. So much on the line. The final spelling bee, when I have my last chance to put myself at the grand final, I'm so worried and then my hands were just like all wet and clingy. Um, I was just like going rub, rub. Grace, you're up first. Ready, Grace? Yeah. She's got a game face on. Let's spell. Pronouncer, the first word. The word is dandelion. Dandelion. D A N D E L I O N Dandelion. That is correct. Did you see the smile creeping in there? Makes you feel good when he says correct, doesn't it? Yeah. Well done, take a seat. She's happy, yeah. Amelia, your turn. Nervous because I've never actually been in an elimination round before. I don't have as much experience as all the other girls in it. Let's spell. The word is symposium. Can I please have a definition? A meeting for discussion. Symposium. Symposium. S Y M. P-O-S-I-U-M. Symposium. That is... correct. Oh, that was a big one too! 
two spellers correct. That means Peyton and Harpita, you must get your words correct to stay in this. Peyton, your turn. Ready? Yeah. Let's spell. Pronounce it. Peyton's first word. Acquittal. Acquittal. A C Q U I T T A L. Acquittal. That is correct. Yes. I think she was fairly confident she would. I feel pretty good? Yeah, I think I'm oh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, sure did. Well done, take a seat. There's lots of love up there on those stools at the moment, huh, Peter? Does it feel good to be amongst friends? Yes, it does. Your turn. <laughs> Let's spell. Successor. It's okay, Apita, come on. Successor. S U C C E S S O R. Successor. That is. Well done, Harpita. All four spellers correct in the first round. Round two. Grace. Criterion. Correct. Salmonella. Correct. <laughs> Prosperity. Correct. Voracious. Correct. Oh. It's the third round now. The words are going up a degree in difficulty. Prophecy. Correct. Lyricist. Correct. Amethyst. Correct. Sycamore. Correct. So after three rounds, it is neck and neck. You are also evenly matched. Let's spell. Dyslexia. Correct. Heirloom. Correct. Two spellers correct. That means, Peyton, you must get your word correct to stay in this. Peyton, let's go. Let's spell. Pronouncer. Next word. Acrimony. I think she'll know this. Now, please have a definition. Harshness or bitterness. Acrimony. Acrimony. A C R. Peyton, you have to get this correct to stay in the competition, OK? Let's spell. The word is acrimony. Acrimony. A C R. I'm thinking, is it an I or an O? I'm not really sure. Oh, my God, it's just such a hard word. It's a word I've never even heard of before. O N. <gasps> O M Y acrimony. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is A C R I M O N Y acrimony. Peyton, because there's been two correct spellers in this round before you, that means that your time in the Great Australian Spelling Bee has sadly come to an end. But I gotta say, we have loved having you with us. It was wonderful seeing you take on all those challenges with both hands. I'm disappointed for myself, but I really want my friends to do well. And even though I won't be spelling here anymore, I still feel proud of myself and I still hold all those wonderful memories inside my heart. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Time to say goodbye to your friends now and wish them the best of luck. Wonderful job, Peyton. 
I have nuts to just be yourself and just believe in your dreams. Great effort. That was a tough word. Just not feel afraid to step up to a challenge. Job, congrats. Look at what we've got for you. The medal. Good job. Very proud of you. And then there were three. Three spellers, two places in the grand final. Ah, uh, Peter, let's go. Ah, uh, Peter, you have to get this correct to stay in the competition, OK? Pronouncer, next word. Obsidian. Obsidian. O. B. S. I. D. I. A. N. Obsidian. That is correct. Game on right now, isn't it, Spellers? Authoritarian. Correct. Inexhaustible. Correct. Oh, God. Differentiate. Correct. Calligraphy. Correct. Synonymous. Correct. <laughs> Rotisserie. That is correct. <laughs> Spellers, we're going into round seven, believe it or not, and the words are going up another level in difficulty, OK? Grace, please come forward. Let's spell, pronounce her, another word. The word is... Tourniquet. Tourniquet. T-O-U... I have no idea. R... N... I... Q... U... E... T. Tourniquet. That is correct. How do you do it, Grace? How do you keep on doing it? That was a good, tricky word. It was a tricky word. Amelia, your turn. <laughs> We're seven rounds in, which I guess is pretty amazing, you know, for a spelling bee. And I think that the words are getting harder. I don't know. I guess I'm just sort of feeling nervous. Let's spell. Pronounce the next word. The word is... Susceptible. Can I please have a definition? Oh, gosh. Easily affected or harmed by something. Susceptible. S... U... C... C... E P T A B L E susceptible. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is S U S C E P T I B L E susceptible. Amelia, now at this particular point, I'm going to ask you to take a seat because you're still in this right now, OK? We need to see how hard Peter goes. Please take a seat. It's a difficult one. Technically, there's still a chance I might not be totally out of the competition. I guess I'm just sort of going to hope for the best. That means, Grace, you are through to the grand final. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wait, wait, what, what just happened? The second last place in the Great Australian Spelling Bee Grand Final goes to you. Oh, my God, that's so amazing. And I was like, yay! I'm going to ask you to take a position over here on this hexagon as we wait to see who will be joining you. Ah, uh, Peter, spelling for a place in the Grand Final right now. Yeah. Now it matters for real. I've got to prove to myself, I've got to prove to everybody I'm going to make it into that grand final. Pronouncer, next word. 
The word is... Ah, Peter. Spelling for a place in the grand final right now. Pronouncer, next word. The word has two pronunciations. Bruschetta or bruschetta. I was actually unsure. Can you please have a definition? Grilled slices of bread brushed with olive oil and a topping such as diced tomato. Bruschetta. I knew there was a trick in this somewhere, but I've just got to make sure I've got this. Can I please have the origin? Italian. Bruschetta. B R U S C H That is correct. As soon as I went back down, like, yes, I'm, I know, I've made it to the grand final. Amazing. It just means everything to me. Well done, Har Peter. But Amelia. Unfortunately, that's the end of your time in this show. It all just came down to the final spelling bee. One word that I got wrong. Let's hear it for Amelia! You know, still great because I made it to finals week anyway. I am so proud of you. You did it. Which is, I think, a really big achievement. Who's in the grand final? The two youngest spellers in the competition. That's who's in the grand final. Having the time of our lives? Yeah. Are we ready to be in the grand final of the Great Australian Spelling Bee? Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Lovely work, guys. Up top. Head home. Celebrate. Get some rest because we're going to see you back here tomorrow. Next time on the Great Australian Spelling Bee, the grand final is here. One of you is about to lift that trophy and be crowned the Great Australian Spelling Bee Champion for 2015. And the words have never been tougher. Neuropsychiatry. <laughs> Neuropsychiatry. Entrepreneurial. Counter espionage. Misapprehensive. Are you serious? Anthropomorphosis. Could you please repeat the word? Three rounds. T-I-X syntax. Correct. I-C-L-E, follicle. Amazing spelling. Wow. Six spellers. This was the ultimate dream. This was the end of the road. This is what we've all wanted to get. But only one of them will win the ultimate prize. One of you is about to spell your way to glory. It's going to be a tough battle.